from the Irish Physios, and today we're going to show you nine different exercises which you're going to carry out if you're suffering from sesamoiditis. So sesamoiditis is where there's pain or irritation of the sesamoid bones, which are two floating bones on the bottom of your big toe. So this can be caused by an overload due to an increase in mileage if you're running, or by a mechanical factor where you have maybe a flatter foot and it causes an increased stress through those bones. So in starting, you're going to start off with some stretches. So you're going to start off with your calf stretches. So placing that left leg in front of the other, right leg keeping the bent knee straight. You're going to keep the heel on the floor, feeling that stretch through the back of the calf. So you're going to hold this for about 45 seconds and repeat about three reps. Your next stretch will be for your soleus. So same positioning, but you're just going to bend that back knee. Again, you should feel this a bit deeper down through the back of your calf. Then we're going to stretch out your big toe. So getting a rolled up towel as James is showing, place your big toe onto it, keep that heel on the floor, push that knee over that toe. Again, this should feel like a bit more of a stretch right through the toe and right through the, he the heel and along the arch of your foot. So this can sometimes be a bit irritable, so just work on the other ones before you progress to doing this. From here, you're then going to progress onto some balance exercises. So you're going to start off in standing with your eyes open. You're going to bend your knee and keep on one foot, and you're going to hold for the desired amount of repetitions. You would then progress by closing your eyes, which makes it a little bit more challenging. So again, same positioning, but eyes closed. You can then also progress on to using a, a cushion, a wobble cushion, or a soft cushion to, to improve the uh, pressure onto that foot. Same thing again, on one leg, bend your knee slightly until you feel that, that balance improving. You can then move on to some strengthening exercises. So we're going to do a double leg calf raise. Again, on a cushion is a lot easier, so it's less painful along those sesamoid bones. You're going to lift up and hold for an isometric, or go through reps for range if comfortable. Then in line, you're going to progress on to doing some banded big toe strengthening exercise. So it's important to get a band with a little loop on it, placing it around big toe. You're going to create a big amount of tension onto the band and you're going to try and just flex that big toe up and down. So keeping the foot pointing down, then start to flex your big toe and you're going to repeat that until the desired amount of repetitions. And the final exercise we would recommend is using a, ro a paper towel. You're going to place your foot onto it, and then for this one, you're just doing toe scrunches. So imagine you're trying to pick that piece of paper up using your toes. So again, you can squeeze and hold for a desired amount of reps, or you can squeeze for an isometric hold. So these are nine different exercises that you can start doing if you're suffering from sesamoiditis, and this can really improve your pain.